के ध्वजा अभ्र भेदी रथ पे देखो वो है आए बाहर के पथ पे खोल के ध्वजा अभ्र भेदी रथ पे देखो वो है आए बाहर के पथ पे देखो वो है देखो वो है आए बाहर के पथ पे खोल के ध्वजा अभ्र भेदी रथ पे देखो वो है आए बाहर के पथ पे and was strongly against the partition of our mother india so much so that he desperately tried to convince gandhi ji many attempts not to accede to jinnah's partition proposal or agree to raja gopalachari's partition formula but when he realized that partition was imminent he decided to go with the partition of bengal as that was the only option to save the bengali hindus from being persecuted and slaughtered from the muslim majority that bengal would have become if it were not partitioned he also wrote a letter to lord mountbatten with a proposal of either to go with the recommendations of the cabinet mission or accept his proposal to divide bengal knowing fully well that since the former had become obsolete the latter would be highlighted as his wish the sources it was observed that the british were very much trying to keep india intact in fact on may 16 1946 the government issued a statement to form an interim government which will be comprising of the representatives of muslim league and the indian national congress in this interim government the indian national congress got one seat ahead of the muslim league and that was one of the point of conflict according to which on the very day of july the 29 1946 mohammad ali jinnah declared august 16 1946 as the direct action day for the muslims at the meeting held in the maidan A vast open space in central Calcutta, Shuravardhi told the Muslim League crowd, estimated to have been at least one lakh strong, that he had taken measures to restrain the police, which was interpreted by many in the crowd as a license to loot and kill. Shuravardhi's apologist, Doctor Nadin Hanan, in 1987, answered. that his presence in the police control room was an attempt to get a better hold on law maintenance operations and not meant as a hindrance
Hi guys, uh, you might have gone ahead and seen the Calcutta killings which is already going on right on the YouTube channels. So today after a long time I have again appeared in front of you guys right with my another speech or you can say another episode for this Calcutta killings. So before I go any further right let me just go ahead and thank you Rabda on behalf of Shana Prashad Enlightenment Federation to all of you. Would like to thank right to the people right who are behind the camera, the people who have been working on on this project right uh, day by day because we almost have now 1K viewers on YouTube channels as well as we do have the group on the Facebook or on the social media platforms. So today I'm going to speak about the next episode what exactly happened during the Calcutta killing. So the situation in Bengal was particularly complex. In the province, Muslims represented the majority of the population that is 54% as against 44% of Hindus and were mostly concentrated in the eastern part present day that is Bangladesh. As a result of the demographic structure and the specific developments, the province was the only one in which the Muslim League government was in power. Under a reign of provincial autonomy introduced in 1935, in collision with European and in the face of strong opposition from the Congress party and from the Hindu Nationalist Party, the later the Hindu Mahasabha was supposed by many members of the rich Marwari trading community. Composed of immigrants from Rajasthan, from largely dominated the economy of Calcutta and of Bengal. Although European capital was still important. The leader of the Muslim League in Bengal and chief minister of the province was Hussein Sarwadi. Sarwadi, a revival of Jinnah for the leadership of the League was the controversial Albert colorful personality who became very unpopular amongst the large section of the Hindu population for his alleged responsibility in the Great Bengal Famine of 1943 which has resulted in the death of two to three million people. However, he was idolized by many Muslims across Bengal, particularly by the Urdu speaking Muslim from Northern India who formed the majority of Calcutta Muslim population. Bengali Muslim who accounted for the bulk of the Muslim population in the province were mostly concentrated in the countryside. Calcutta itself had a clear Hindu majority around 73% of the population according to the 1941 census. And a significant Muslim minority that is 23% of the population given the tendency of the population in urban areas to congregate in neighborhoods dominated by one community. Most Muslims lived in areas of Northern Calcutta, which Central and Southern Calcutta were almost exclusively Hindu with spring kingling of Europeans. That in the absence of any transcript of Shuravadi's speech, due to the fact that the police spatial branch did not have an Urdu stenographer on hand, which in retrospect seems to have been an incredible oversight. The accusations regarding his inflammatory language cannot be sustained. The main accusations leveled at Governor Burroughs in pro-Congress accounts are that he allowed Shuravarti to interfere with law and order operations while his reserves powers allowed him to prevent Shuravarti from doing so.
for today's episode and thanks to all of you for watching it for supporting us immensely for showering your love and support on us and as we had already made an announcement of making a feature film on Dr. Shyam Prashad Mukherjee so we need a great help from you all in the form of love blessings and of course the donations and as always you all had showed so much love and support for us so we will be hoping and we are hoping in future also for your support and we hope that you all will come forward to join us and to help us to make this feature film successful thank you once again namaskar jai hind we have our facebook channel that is a shama prashad enlightenment federation and our youtube channel national icon where we put all these documents from history in our audio visual format we request all of you to go through this precise historical depiction to make sure you know the history of bengal properly and it's not only you we suggest all of you to share this information to your near and dear ones to make sure that history is known and history is not distorted let's take care of our people know the history and share the vision thank you so much